Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn well, North Side as wait a second. Spawn well, North Side as a US player, we have Conan. Spawn well, on South Side as the Vermont player, we operations. have Mr. Crean. And the reason why I say wait a second, look at top. Look at the map. This is an annihilation game, not a VP game. Interesting. This can change quite a bit of how both players play. It makes it so artillery is going to be less effective. How to think? Let's see, what would change? Artillery is going to be effective versus structures, since so you want to target them down. Less effective versus vehicles, so it's likely not going to be setting up in traditional spots. With support weapons. Also makes doctrines who that has manpower columns over munitions columns a bit more effective. Munitions are going to be much more valuable than fuel. More so in Annihilation, I'm guessing. Wait a second. Support Weapon, Minesweeper. Is this a high resource game? Okay, what's going on? Three engineers are cheap. That seems about right. We got both the Support Weapon Center and. Yeah, this is a high resource game as well. So both sides start up at more resources. We also got Landmine here, mines, early Minesweepers as well. Okay, this is very, very different. Recon is in the shit now. Mines, of course, has been spotted. It can't, doesn't have time to actually sweep them, but it is trying to gun them down with the Jeep. So the Jeep will be forced back by the Shimwagen. Can Pioneers repair my landmines? I really don't know. Landmines have been re camouflaged. Now we do have a sniper deployed out on the field. And the mine landmine does get detonated there. I did a bit of splash damage there to the pioneer as well, I believe. Both sides are content on fighting to, on the right side of the map. Left side of the map is being captured by Engineer and a Pioneer. Do we have one sniper, one rifleman? No battle phase two just yet, or next battle phase with next uh, Krieg's barracks. I really don't know the pacing of the game when it gets into Annihilation games. Rifleman now is making their advance support the jeep, while the engineers do receive quite a bit of fire there from the Shimwagen. Pioneers do find a sniper bullet going through them. And we do also have MG42 inside this garrison. It's a good hard point there. Pioneers are in the mix as well, potentially able to prevent uh, flanking and helps absorb some shots. Whoops, and I hit my microphone once again. And over here, Rifleman and the uh, Shimwagen is engaging. And we do have the MG42 sort of engaged the Jeep, getting some great damage there. Rifleman do get suppressed by the MG42. Shimwagen can rotate around and or fire on that Jeep on the rear armor. Fires a half burst there, and now it's probably in the reloading state. And now getting a hits there onto the Rifleman, but that may have been a Veramox sniper. Yeah, Veramox sniper has been deployed on out. To counter the US sniper, which is currently. Nope, not right there. That's a landmine. Which could be very important as well. U.S. sniper right here, two kills. Looks like he received a full retreat to avoid the Shimwagen. Folks, grenadiers pushing their way forward, engaging the riflemen. Lots of engineers out for the U.S. player. Got another squad of riflemen pushing the way forward. Pioneers trying to wire up that area. Does get the wire off, but will likely get wiped out. There's actually two models remaining there, not just one. Enemy unit down. Pioneers do fully go down there, but that area is wired off. As well as that little bit of tank trap. Pioneers getting some damage there onto the Jeep as the sniper does get spotted. Immediately treats back. 
jeep. Oh, good shot there by the sniper. I thought that sniper sniper was going to escape because the jeep was facing the wrong direction, but nope. He does manage to get a good retreat snipe. U.S. Mortar has been deployed now, which should be very effective versus the MG. Volksgrandir and Shimbaugh can make an advance with the jeep body blocking the Volksgrandir. Has the will be fired, but does not get the kill there on the jeep. Rafferman does get forced back. Engineer squad ready. And engineers looks like they've gone to go for a bit of wire cutting right there. Or perhaps just spotting for the mortar. There we go, the wire card is worth being poured there, but does get cancelled. Panzerfaust was tempted to be fired on the Jeep, but looks like he was unsuccessful. Is a Caduce to try and chase the Jeep down, but that's not a good idea. Sniper does get a hit there on the Volksgrenadiers. We've got more wire deployed now. Bunker in stream position. That's highly likely going to be a casualty recovery bunker. I doubt that's going to be repaired. Actually, no. Look at the wire. That is going to be an MG bunker. So he's pulling out an MG bunker right there in a area so it can help cover the sector. Unusual. Questionably going to be effective because there's also that mortar that we know of. And the mortar does get spotted there. But I think it was spotted earlier. And he has captured that point there. Schimwagen does bumper card the uh, bunker. The MG bunker should be almost complete. Refman are getting inside this garrison. That this will be a good garrison to fight from. And mortar's now running on in, which will be able to clear up the wire as well as clear up the bunker given enough time. That landmine was, of course, interrupted. And this garrison is a good garrison there. MG42 is pushed way too far forward. It does fall back now. Looks like a mortar barrage on top of the machine gun bunker. All the units are still alive inside this garrison. The engineers crash to fall back and go to the tree house center. So we do got a flame reverse there onto the jeep. And that jeep will likely go down to the pioneers. Our forces are taking casualties. Jeep does go down. You got a Unit inside the back of this uh, 251 half track is likely a pioneer. This pioneer squad will need to sort of back away. It's being prone to be wiped. Does get down. wiped. Half track can withstand a bit of a beating there from the rifleman, so it's not even a threat of going down. As over here, we've got the landmines now finally being complete or restarted. Can't really tell which one. And we do have motor pool deployed on the field. Going straight for a half track and AT gun, not going for a Greyhound. Half track deployed. We do have a mortar barrage raining on on top of the rest of the MG bunker. Yep, raining on on top of the MG bunker. Oh, the right side do have these Volkswagen here making an advance. They're a bit wounded. Pass game some veteran C would help out the minor health regen. Reference squad will be slowly falling back. As these shooters may go for a flake there on the MG42, but will be caught in arc and without any support, he can easily get gunned down by the Volksgrandiers. Half track now upgraded, which can be still be used to reinforce the riflemen. This is not Computers 2, and it was not always like that with Computers 2 as well. 
they was actually patched to make it so they were unable to get reinforcements while uh, up gun. Front shift. Yeah. 50 cal gains a good damage all across the line. And got the more and more mortars raining on top of the bunker. The M3 should be able to engage a close range of the MG42. Looks like MG42 is deciding to fall back now. And the bunker is almost down to that mortar. MJ is getting some damage there onto the rifleman on the retreat. Does get the gunner kill crit to knock out the rear gunner. It does knock out both the gunners. And the half track is almost down to the gunfire of the rifleman, but it looks like it will barely get out of there. Flamer squad is now seeing some fire there. Will he fall back before he captures the point? I don't think he will be able to capture the point in time. We do have this bunker now receiving some mortar hits. Fifty-seven millimeter at your service. Overall, the fuel control is quite similar, but the U.S. player, I believe, does have a slight advantage. Do you have a Pentrick squad on this Grenadier? No doctrine selected yet for the U.S. player. I would assume armor doctrine would be best in annihilation when it comes to when, and when it comes to annihilation victories. Though honestly, the infantry doctrine wouldn't be half bad with the M2s to engage the base and work with annihilation from afar. Sniper still alive, but you see one getting one shot there. Volksgrandiers and Rugged Grandiers making their advance. Mortar, try and gauge these forces. The MG bunker course has been cleaned up, but none of the wire. Set up. MG42 have got inside the garrison, which could be useful to replace the bunker, but the mortar can quickly mortar displace it. There. We have some more more mortar hits there. It does displace the MG42 being provided nice spotting from the engineer and he cut the wire and now he's gonna place a landmine there. Giving it pretty close to guaranteed detonation possibility. And we have not oh. that sniper shot was not sure. Well oh, actually got sniped there, like with the rifleman. The rifleman down to two models will fall back in time. Construction finished. And did lay down landmine no man's land. Losing ground out there. Germans are seizing territory. That's it. Construction finished. Mechanized has their orders. They will now take and hold. Mechanized can now has the orders, which means now the light vehicles can now capture up points. Very nice. And we have defensive for the for the Wehrmacht player. I would assume defense is probably the least useful of all the doctrines when it comes to Wehrmacht and Annihilation. Let's create quarters allow them a lot of manpower assets and get more manpower. I would assume Blitzkrieg would be best in Annihilation victories, but I guess he's gone for Annihilation uh, for the uh, defensive or the Flak 88s. There's also a lot of other abilities for uh, defensive well. Ability called an air artillery strikes on top of M2s, which you don't have to worry about this game. Ooh, and landmine was not found. 
And that landmine there is a US landmine, not a Vermont landmine, so no detonation there either. Engineers will manage to barely escape on out there. A lot of US landmines in the reach in the region. Abstractor and get some suppression. And I also hear it another landmine technician did. This time it was the pioneers finding one. And now the M10 is now making its advance. You got these folks right here. here. One that's severely wounded. Need some veterans in order to get some health regen. All these forces need to fall back. They're prone to being wiped at the moment. US. Uh, Vermox Sniper does get a kill there, but the Vermox Sniper is also receiving, uh, 50 cal fire. Does utilize the healing ability there on the Sniper, and does get counter sniped. Wait, that's an Ostwin. Ostwin has employed an out, which an Ostwin is of course an excellent 18th infantry unit. Does utilize the f medical ability there on the flame engineers gets wiped out by the minesweeper squad. And now we do have a Pantrex squad pushing his way forward, trying to engage this from M10. Does get the kill there on the quad half track, showing who's the real uh, anti aircraft weapon. But the Oswin's down to one shot to death, took too much damage from that AT gun. Pantrex squad needs to advance. Destroyed engine. He can still save the Oswin. Pantrek does roll a complete whiff over here. And the Oswin does fully go out of control. MC42 will find the rifleman. If he gets out another Oswin and pass a flak 88 on this region, he, sh he should be able to lock down this side of the map quite well. Doesn't have to be worried about Calliopes. And he probably does not know what doctrine has gone for just yet either. We do got an observation post here on the munitions point, which would be very useful for, well, the extra munitions. Rifleman do try to get into the building, they're not fully in just yet. Did receive quite a bit of fire there. Another half track. Interesting. Heavy flak batteries, and now you can pull out some flak 88s. We do not see a flak battery just yet over here. MP42 set up in a very defensive position. And now the rifleman trying to take out this observation post. Taking out the observation post can be very useful, of course. Of course, because conditions would be much more useful long run over fuel. Though with the Vermont player, he does have access to engine command, so has access to other assets. Pads of 4 right now wouldn't be half bad. And you also have some Knight's Cross holders. No Vector Z yet either. On the left side, we do have these forces. We've got MP40 folks. And the Pantrex squad does not manage to fire a shot off. And the US sniper is still alive. It's trying to back away towards the half track for reinforcements. MP40 squad will probably need to fall back as well. Knights Crossroads MP42 start making their advance, and the MP40 squad does get suppressed or retreated from these forces. He needs forces need to fall back as well. Those Knights Crossroads can rip apart without any veteran seed. They can, they're quite vulnerable and not venerable. Sniper ready for the struggle. Fresh Vermax Sniper. We are taking pit. Shimbok would like to go down to the bars. If yeah, the Shimbok is now starting to respawn and trying to drive away. Damage engine. Yep, that's gonna be the end of that Shimbok. Two M2, M10s have been deployed now. We do also have, of course, the AT gun, the Flak uh, AA half track, which also captured the point itself. Uh, 
Americans are seizing territory for us. Up north, we've got the riflemen and sniper here, mortar and engineers, and we've got minesweeper here. Quarter half track still has no pack gun to hit it. Half track back here is still in the region, so pack's gonna upgrade to a workman. And now mortars start to rain on in. On the right side, we've got the mine super squad eyeing for the fuel point. We've got some fuel assets being deployed out. Looks like it's going for a full panther. Both sides, sniper has a sniper deployed in this region. Sniper ready for the stalker. MP40 squad and Knights Cross holders with the Pentrix of support, making their advance. The engineer squad does get suppressed. And all these forces do fall back. There is a landmine here. M10 starting to come over here to respond. And here comes the Palio Barrage. And now the artillery will rain on in. Both Grenadiers receive quite a bit fired. Do not go down there. Both squad is down. Does go down to the mortar, however. Mortar, not any levels of veterancy. Fresh Panther has been deployed on the field. This U.S. landmine still in the region, so the Panther could find it. And now, Register Artillery is now available. He can be able to bombard his own strategic points. And of course, can crush him through heavy cover. He probably does have sticky bomb research. Right from a do fall back. Maybe he doesn't have sticky bomb research. Panther start makes his way forward. There's a lot of AT here. So the Panther won't be able to push too far forward. Does get a decent hit there. Now here comes the Calio Barrage. Will not be hitting the Panther. Will be hitting the fuel point. The Vermont player still needs fuel. And the Knights Cross Horse Malcolm's way forward. Landmine still alive and has not been tripped just yet. And the doof and the Panther does find the AT guns. He does have some snipers in the, or pioneers in the region as Knights Cross Horders do find that landmine. Sniper ship does get another shot off there on the AT gun. The US sniper still in the region does fall back from the Knights Cross Holders. And currently on camouflage gets picked off. Pantrex squad making their advance. Knights Cross Holders now finally fall back. Two Pantrex fire, two of them gets hit. Panther start making his way forward. One shot in that M10 does go down. Does find a sniper right there. An AT gun is has been recruited. Does get a hit there onto the Rifleman. And damage into crit there. That Panther could be rushed down by the remaining M10, but he has to be worried about these Pantrex. He does have a half track here for forward reinforcements, so it's probably a good idea to soft treat them towards the half track. On the left side, we do have the M3. The mortar is starting to fire some rounds onto the grenadier. Looks like Calio Barrage getting a wipe on that squad would be great, and the mortar claims the kill. Drops a pan strike as well. Ready for 
fresh Oswin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fresh Oswin and then a Knight's Crossroads being deployed on out. Yeah. Still no veterancy on any of his vehicles. He needs veterancy. He doesn't have a campground center, actually. As crossholders do perform much better with FC, though everything performs much better with FC. And the Brockman Duke of Pantrick would be great if they get eight sticky bombs as well, so be able to really hunt down vehicles. <clears throat> Austin starts making his way forward, gains some great hits there onto that mortar, and immediately wipes it out. Who needs better to see when have Austin? Barfman, there's a lot of opportunity for these landmines to be found. M10 does find the Oswin. He may not actually have uh, sticky bombs there. Based on some maneuvering. Panther now responding is fully repaired. M10 are trying to hunt down this Oswin. Oswin does not get body blocked by the Panther. Dolphin himself may go down, however. But it looks like the M10 is actually focusing on the uh, Panther. They haven't focused down on the Ostwin just yet. Looks like it's mainly targeting now the Ostwin. Main gun destroyed on the Ostwin. This one is not finding angle there. Panther is having trouble with its lining up his gun. There's a hit there, and the Ostwin does go down. We have Allied War Machine now being activated. Now it definitely knows what Doctor's phone has gone for. You get one replaced M10, the other one will likely get replaced as well. The Panther is actually pretty low. Here comes Calio Barrage. Rear armor hits there, Kali may take it out, loses the Pioneers, loses the Panther. And saves his M10, which is not exactly a huge deal, but can be quite nice. Pretty close to getting some extra veterancy. He lost a lot of assets there. He does get a fresh Grenadier, probably for more Panzer Shreks. Yeah, both of them may have been recued. Grandier does fall back. Half -track. Over. Do you have a Warferman upgrade there on the half track? He does find an angle there on the MG42. MG crew on me. Rockets are ready. Walking Stuka upgrade has been completed. Nothing at the Panzer Command. He needs oh Panthers. The US player has a lot of our assets on the field, including a pair of AT guns, two M10s, a Calliope, and a quad. This place product population cap while the Vermont player doesn't have a whole lot at the moment. So over to the US play for a moment. Yeah, population cap. Not a whole lot of resources that stuff piled up. He does get a second Calio. So he is at pop cap, whatever, with his current force. I suppose he's over here. Does receive some sniper shots with the nice cross holders, but those could be healed up. N10 trying to punish these forces. We'll find the double Panzer Truck squad. Both one only gets a hit. If the next two hits, he gets a wipe. There could be a Panzer Faust from the Knights Cross holders as well. He will be slowed down by the terrain. Hit, hit, and destroyed engines. That's going to be a dead M10. Does use Allied War Machine there to get it replaced. Rather use munitions rather than manpower and fuel. He needs to get the Pantrix in a better angle. Here comes Calio Barrage. Annihilates one of the snipers. The other next crossword does manage to fall back in time.
We do have a panther in the build queue and a landmine being found. And the Grandier squad will fall back to the quad. The quad itself can capture these points. Knights cross here. We are losing ground. Walking Stuka raining on in, trying to hit these engineers. First couple rounds, all the rounds. That one could have been good, but Americans all the rounds completely whiffed and missed and dodged. Over here, we've got the rifleman catch with these points. And got a mass capture coming on out. We do got registered artillery being called in over here. Here comes a Calio Barrage, getting some great hits there on the nice cross holders. The enemy advances. Though only one rocket really got hit. The engineers are being suppressed thanks to the MG42, as the other as the MG42 does receive a deadly hits there from the other Calio. And they start to make his way forward. Riflemen may get sticky bomb off. They will get sticky bomb off as nice cross holders will try to protect it. Damage engine, the M10's not advancing, nor does the AT guns. And the Knights Cross Holders are getting annihilated by the Flamers. Vet 2 engineers by the US player. Relatively rare sight. But having a Panther shot hitting them is not a rare sight. Trying to repair up the Panther's engine on the front line while in combat. The enemy is seizing our territory. And here comes a Warframe Barrage raining on top of these forces. Does fall back in time. First couple rounds hits the building, and that's about it. Heavy rocket artillery, request target coordinates. We're losing territory. Calio Barrage now raining on in, gets great hits there onto the Grenadiers. Grenadiers will get wiped out. A lot of carcasses here. He could use a pioneer squad to salvage the wreckages. You need any construction? Yep, both of them are still able to be salvaged. Not a whole lot of res. Oh, looks like he's now finally actually salvaging them. You're losing a sector. Over here, Knights Cross Holders make their advance, trying to get some good hits there on the Riflemen. Engineers, Flamer Engineers, do get suppressed by the MG42. Well, it's just one of them. Calio Barrage running on in, trying to hit that Vermox Sniper. Vermox Sniper is largely avoiding all those rockets. In fact, didn't receive a single hit. And Riflemen do throw a frag grenade there onto the Knights Cross Holders, getting some good damage onto one of those squads. It does fall back now. And those are the Flamer Engineers, the Vet 2 Flamer Engineers do win out versus unvetted Knights Cross Holders. Speaking well, unvetted, the unvetted Sniper is getting burned alive as well and does get gunned down. Lord Calio Barrage is now raining on in. Triple needs to get out Second Panther to help push through the armor. Second Panther has is now on the build queue. Are 
entering a sector. Warframan Barrage raining on in. May detonate this landmine. Attention. They do not the detonate that landmine. Now do I rush artillery barrage, I think right here? Yep. And that rifleman squad may go down, depends where the next, the next set of rounds go, and does get one with a wide scatter right there. Calio Barrage now raining on in, trying to hit siege down this MG-42 inside the garrison. Being somewhat effective, mostly versus building itself, not necessarily to the unit. Second Panther now out on the field. That should be enough to all punch through the M10s. US player must be stockpiling a lot of resources. A thousand manpower, yeah. Heavy armor and, company reserves. and now Pershing can be deployed now. He has just enough population room for it. You'll find with the uh, Pershing and, and two M10s, that should be more than enough to deal with the Panthers, especially with the AT gun support. Yeah. Yeah. As cross orders make some good damage in the quad half track still in the region. Losing a sector. And now Warframe Barrage running on gets good damage onto the rifleman. Really good damage right there. Try to flank the MG42 and will be able to flank the MG42. Frag Grenade does only get one model killed there. He will like to get a sticky bomb off. He may dive in when he gets a sticky bomb off. No sticky bombs being thrown. Now there's one. On the left side, we do have the Knights Crossroads engaging their riflemen. Pioneers salvaging some wreckages. Ooh, Calio Barrage is annihilating the Knights Crossroaders. They do manage to not get squad wiped, and they both have two models remaining. Men try to go forward with for a sticky bomb. And the pioneers will manage to fall back in time. Does spot the Pershing. And the AT tank gun is coming through support as well. The other Panthers in this region as the damage engine from that AT grenade sticky bomb. Calio Barrage. No, that's Warfman Barrage raiding on in top of the AT gun. They're losing territory. And let's find this uh, MG42. We will find that US landmine that was deployed a long time ago. Calio Barrage trying to hit that Panther as well as the Warfarman. Game hits on the Panther is quite nice. It will slow down the repairs of that engine. And now we finally do have a Kampgraf Center. He desperately needs that a long time ago for the Vector Seat. Getting some vehicle Vector Seat could be very useful since he has two Panthers out. Or two sets of tank Vector I should say. British artillery did raid on in right there. Not sure what's the force back to flame engineers. He does fall back with that engineer. And Vermox snipers do find a kill there. What do you need? Enemy infantry down! 
Looks like the AT gun does get the crude, but sort of crawling away unmanned. Calliopes, however, gains some great damage on these squads. And now he needs to fall back entirely. Now it's safe to fall back. Knights cross here. Soon you're not going to be there if you continue staying being there. MG42, Charger 4, pass trying to free up some population in the room. Rocket Barrage now raining on in, which is going to be horrendously horrible since he just will just drive away. May get some damage in, but that's about it. And that's Crossroads Arc getting reinforced by the Warp from in Half Track. Field repairs complete. Both the Panthers are still here, being a bit timid with his Panthers. m 10s US player could be much more aggressive. He has a lot of resources stockpiled up. Yep. A lot of manpower stored up, so he can be a bit suicidal with his forces. Use Allied War Machine to get them replaced. Warframe and Barrage raining on in. Now he got the warp. Yeah, not exactly a whole lot of damage. Some of those were pretty good hits, but not a whole lot of damage. And the Cattle missiles do rain on in onto the space sector as well. Partially damage down some of these structures. Let's see, let's go back to the Vermont player. We do have Vet 1 tanks, Vet 2 tanks on the way. Oh, that's one reason why. He's actually a pop cap, so he can't really reinforce some of this stuff as well. Ready. Should she point has been captured when he does increase population space? And now we do have registered artillery now raining on in the sector, preventing any sort of units from capturing it up. So he does actually need to cap population space. Pershing does ward away these units from capture at this point. Looks like a couple of models did go down there for the MG42. The Knights Crossroads should be able to force back that Flamer Engineer. They're losing territory. Another Calio Barrage raining on in. Largely missing, however. Seizing our territory. And the MG42 will find a good angle there on those engineers. Talio Barrage raining on in once again. And a fresh Wehrmacht sniper being deployed on now. He could. Uh, he's pretty a population cap. So I say he could go for another vehicle, but he needs more population room for that. Base at the defensive doctrine MGs did do some work there. <coughs> nice crossroads making their advance, trying to engage the riflemen here. And of course, the riflemen, these uh, riflemen are actually efficiency too, so you should be able to do some good damage there to the Knights crossholders. Both sides look like just large missing. Riflemen do throw out frag grenade, does dodge it. Calio Barrage rains on in, annihilates a sniper with a splash, or with a direct hit, not a splash. Pershing starting to make his way forward, there is some more US landmines here. And we do have another observation post here, he does need the munitions, that's for sure. Base is under attack. 
Kalio Barrage raining on in. Gains a miss there onto the Panthers. It does have bet two Panthers. No veteran sleep through yet, but the Pinder Mounts could be useful versus the infantry. Versus the uh, infantry. Folks going deers are getting burned a bit by the veteran flamer engineer. There is a US landmine here, which could spell doom for these Panthers. Especially depending how it explodes. If it gets too close, this could potentially get both the Panthers. N10's coming up forward. If he backs away a little bit, he knows about the landmine there. Backing away a little bit could be very useful, but Panther's actually backing away. M10 to receive split fire there. Time, great time for global repairs. Panther may find that landmine. Does find the landmine. Gets fully destroyed engine. Now got allied war machine now activated. This M10 is severely wounded as well. Main gun destroyed. One Panther does go down. Engine destroyed. One of the intents to go down. Mango destroyed there as well. To save this one, he's going to need to use allied field repairs. Nice crossroads pushing way forward, but find some more landmines still unvetted. To no health region. Cowards attack off. They are attacking secure territory of the fatherland. They are attacking secure territory of the fatherland. Warfarmen is now raining on in, trying to get some good hits there, but will like to destroy his own observation post. Warfarmen do receive some good hits there. And but the Calio Barrage is now coming for a barrage to hit those Knights Crossholders. M10 still crawling away, needs to stop moving so this engineers can repair it up. And over the left side, you got the AT gun now engaging the MG42. Not sure what actually exploded right there. But something exploded there. Might have been an observation post, but even then, that's just the wrong spot for us. Up for observation post. They are attacking secure MG42 does fall back, land. unable to stop the rifle from engaging that munitions point. OP under attack. Some of these carcasses are actually been destroyed by the US player. Very nice to make sure it denies that extra bit of income or rebate. We're losing a sector. Third Knight's Cross Orders has been pulled and out. He needs to get save us manpower for more Panthers. It's the only way to really get back in the game. He's not gonna his annihilation victory, so you have to take out his opponent's vehicles. At the current rate, the US player is just gonna win. And here comes another Calio Barrage. It won't take out the camp graph center, even though it's severely wounded. Need some great hits there on the next cross holders. They're both severely wounded without any veteran seed. They can't don't get any passive health regen. More Calio Barrage is now raining on end game. A good hit there on the pioneers. No low hitting missile to take out the Kampgraf Center. As cross holders are taking out the observation post of the US player. Now the US player does have a number of observation posts. All of the missions points trying to get that bit of extra income. Somehow there's an MG42 right there, but we'll receive a frag grenade. It will be wiped out by a frag grenade. Calio Barrage raining on in. Camp Graf Center has been repaired. Pioneers managed to stay alive in that mix as well. I'm taking fire. 
Port Aft Track will save the observation post. We do have a fresh Panther being deployed on out. Very nice. But you will need to get to another one out to really engage the M10s and the Pershing. One the M10s. The Molly is vetted? Yeah, one M10 is vetted. Pershing is located here. And it's also effective C1. Calio Barrage raining on in. And the Calio is going to slowly pick away the Fairmont player's base. They're losing territory. MG42 does go down. And looks like he does find a landmine in the retreat path. Warframe and Half-Track will be cleaned up. Sticky Bomb does connect. Pershing fires. That will also give the Pershing Vector C2. Americans are seizing territory from us. Vet 2 Panther make his way forward. Detonates, I think, one of his own landmines right there. But the Panther does find another landmine. M10 does receive one hit there. Field repairs should be able to be more than enough to engage without losing anything. But honestly, at this point in time, he can replace the M10 if he wants to save his munitions for another event. M10 does receive a miss there. Main gun destroyed, so that Panther is neutered. And the captured AT gun is actually very important. Can you find another landmine there? Oh, another landmine gets detonated. Captured AT gun does get destroyed out by the Calio. And he saved both his M10. Hello, Barrage into the base. The US player could have pushed much more aggressively. Could have started pushing forward over here. This entire region's hedge lines down, so you could push, set up some uh, lines of uh, AT guns with the M10 and Pershing support, and really start pushing to the base itself. But I can understand being defensive. Don't want to overextend. Knight's crossword has been a horrendous option. The fact that they don't have any veterans here right now make them vulnerable even to the engineers. One, the engineers even have Vector C3. And these M10s got annihilated. Partially because of good crushes as well. Trying to salvage a wreck. Does destroy the carcass there. Now the Knight's Crossroads will fall back. But he needs multiple Panthers right now. He does lose that pioneer, of course. Just really just thrown away. Panther unescorted, charging forward. Calio Barrage going to the base once again, annihilating the Knight's cross holders. One of the Knight's cross holders squads did get wiped. That someone Ready, somehow brother. managed to stay alive. Ready. Rocket Barrage not raining on him. Caps on top of the AT gun. Now somewhere on the right side. Takes up looks at the Pershing. Sticky Bomb does connect. Allied War Machine was activated. Which did recover the Pershing. Yep, fresh Pershing here. And the Panther's dead. And he's backed out of the game. Either way, that was not really an entertaining replay. But thank you for watching. And on to the next replay.